Welcome back everybody. Doing another Sabre review, this time it's of an installed hilt. This is a recent MHS hilt that I finished up. MHS, for you guys who are not aware, stands for Modular Hilt System from the Custom Sabre Shop. I did one last year, it, uh, it was a lot of fun, came out pretty well, it was a simple install. And this time I wanted to build one for my oldest son. So this I've had for around for a while. And uh, I finally got around to doing the install uh, a couple months ago, and I'll finally just do the review video. Just the holidays kind of uh, slowed things down a little bit. But I did send, uh, send all the parts back out to Pete's Powder Emporium. He did this job for me. He did a wonderful job. Uh, my son likes the color green, so I wanted to incorporate that a little bit for him. Uh, the rest of this is kind of like a, a black chrome. Uh, he did a really nice job around, especially inside all the little rings here he was able to get in and uh, I really really enjoyed that just because it gives it a little bit of finer detail so uh, with this I went with like a like an older public style emitter uh, I kept an Obi-Wan style gear but instead of having it on the, the bottom of the hilt I actually put it up here towards the near the near the emitter I had a, an Obi-Wan from episode one and two I took that as the pommel down there and I changed up a couple things from my, my last hilt. So my last MHS hilt, I had a 16 millimeter RGB AV switch that would match the blade color, kind of like a crystal chamber would. This time around, I, I was just I kept it a little more simple. I ended up going with two AV switches, but they're also accent LEDs. Uh, I do like accent LEDs on, on hilts. I, I feel like they kind of make things pop a little bit. Uh, I, I know they would probably serve no real function in the actual Star Wars universe, but uh, on, on what we're doing, it kind of makes it look kind of nice, uh, you know, like, like the Blinkies. So I went with a, a green and a blue here for the primary and the secondary switch. Um, so inside here we have a Profi, the 2.2 board, the new board that's been out for the last couple of months. Uh, I got in on one of the runs from... Uh, from the summer, I think this is actually one of uh, Cal's. I think this is his run that he ended up doing. Um, so, You're going. Is your weakness. this was a so it's a very simple install. This was not it's not difficult at all. If this is your first time or you're looking to do a hilt for yourself, uh, the the hardest thing is really just the learning curve for the programming. Uh, I said this on my first. MHS build when I, uh, I did a profi board, that's probably the, the biggest learning curve is just getting down the programming itself. Once you learn how to do that, it's a lot of uh, cut and pasting. It, it, it becomes very simple after that. Uh, it's just keeping up with all the updates. The, I think this is the, I have 2.9 on here I think right now. I think right now they're on the beta 3.4 or 5, so I mean they're they're really pushing along, but I don't think Frederick's actually put an official version out uh, in a little bit. Again, I could be wrong. Uh, you know, sometimes I go a couple of weeks without hitting up some of the the forums, the Saber forums, so I, I might be a little behind on this. Uh, but one of the new things I the new things I wanted to really show off on this was the color change. So they did a so Matt McGeary and Fernando De Rosa put together a fork for Frederick's. Uh, his for the operating system and he put they put they were able to do color change on the fly now that's something that probably hasn't been able to do yet which is such a great feature obviously with the nigon boards and with uh plectors especially the new crystal focus 10. Uh, so finally we have the ability to change colors on the fly which i think is a, a great feature to have rather than just switching fonts and uh, having different blade colors that way uh, it has become very advanced even since I did my install and set up my card. I haven't really adjusted this since I, I finished the install about a month and a half ago. Um, so I think even since then they've further advanced everything where you can change um, blade effects uh, and the styles, which uh, you know I just went with something very basic for my son just to be able to change color. Um, each font I have has kind of like a, a, a different blade style, and then from there he can change out the the color itself, which uh, which is kind of what I wanted for him. Uh, so inside here, it's a Saber Essentials 28 millimeter speaker. I got a Goth chassis, an all in one, 1.24, 1.24 1 inches, which is the standard for the uh, the MHS hilts, at least the, the V1 models. 
So nice and simple here, a little 1.3 millimeter uh, recharge port, kill switch, high amp kill switch, and a 21700 3.7 volt batteries in here. Um, yeah, real. I, I really enjoy installing the MHS Hilt. It's real simple, especially when you're not doing a crystal chamber. You don't have to spend just, you know, the crystal chamber is usually just a lot more uh, intricacies that go in, in, into that. Uh, I really like just doing a, a simple install. It's usually very quick to do the install. It's the, you're, not, it's, you're not spending hours doing the, the crystal chamber part. Um, but the one thing I'll tell you guys is try not to operate on your sabers late at night. So... I think around 2.30ish in the morning or so, I was up late uh, working on this, trying to actually drill drill the holes in for the, the LEDs. Something I probably should have done before I even sent the, the hilt off to, uh, to Pete. And so what I ended up doing was I made a real big error. So I drilled up in here and realized after I had drilled it out, that that is where the threads are and there's no way i'll be able to get an led in here because the threads from the gear are going into that spot so this is why you measure twice and cut once so they say um, what i ended up having to do was i had to make another hole down here instead and i ended up having to cover this up did the best i could with uh just like a, a metallic uh like fate space filler or button that, that I did in here. I tried to match the color as best I could. Uh, the other thing I ended up doing myself was I ended up just uh, painting a cover tech. I didn't have one when I sent this off to Pete. So, uh, you know, that was my own fault. I just was impatient and didn't wait. But I ended up grabbing my own and ended up just finding out what color it was. I think it's like a candy green uh, and then just sprayed this. So again, it's not perfect. It's not Pete's work, but uh, it'll, it'll do for, for my son. Um, but the, the rest of the hilt is, is fantastic. I really, really enjoy the, the color scheme that we ended up going with. Um, for those of you who have not used Pete before, Pete's fantastic, has great communication, uh, usually does things very, very quickly, responds to your, your questions uh, fairly quickly as well. Uh, helps kind of give you an idea, or kind of gets an idea from you what you want, then he figures everything out and you guys put everything together. So uh, really like collaborating with him. Uh, hopefully, you know, I might even do something again with him again in the future. So I think with that, I'm going to just kind of put the blade in, show everything off. And yeah, that, that's it. I just wanted this to be like a real quick, quick video to show off the, uh, some of the features of the new board. Just give me one second to get the... Turn the lights off. Now it's daytime here in New York. So I'm hoping this lights up well, if I can get the room dark enough. I need a weapon. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, so I think I put it on this font here. Let's see if I get this right. Yeah, I know, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi and it's a green saber, I know. There we go. So you can see here, get back to a blue for Obi-Wan then you lock it in no, there is the tip okay. nice little retraction alright let me get the lights again So you can see basically you're just doing a fan motion and that triggers to go to the next color. Uh, and I think they basically just did like a, a Roji Biv that they went through and I, also, I think it threw in white also. Uh, Fernando's got a, a whole page dedicated towards coding, uh, what to put in for your line of code for your, your profile, for your config file there. And this way you can kind of get exactly what uh, what you're looking for. Uh, I kept this pretty simple, but like I said, they are getting much more advanced with this that I'll probably dive into a little bit more as uh, as I go forward. 
Uh, the other thing with the Profi that's supposed to be great right now is the accent swings. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm, I must be missing something because I, I read the read the manual. Uh, I've searched on the uh, the open source Facebook page, which is a great resource, by the way. I got a lot of help because I hadn't had I had not done a, a profi in a while, so I kind of forgot some of the things that I had to do. Uh, and I utilized both the uh, Rebel Armory, where I spoke with uh, Frederick a couple times, uh, and some other people chimed in on some posts that I made. Uh, as well as the open source Facebook page. Uh, if you're having trouble or if you're new, I highly recommend going to those two spots to ask your questions. There are plenty of uh, very helpful people there in the community. Um, but yeah, I'm missing something with accent swings. I feel like I gotta go back and either rewatch some videos or uh, just dive in a little bit more to to some of the, the readings to, to figure out what I'm doing wrong. But uh, I'll eventually figure that one out. But uh, anyway, guys, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to show off the, the new board uh, and some of the capabilities that, uh, that this has. So, yeah, and obviously, and, and with different fonts, the one nice thing with this, just with the different fonts, I've, I've, you can change whatever you want on the, uh, the, the accent LEDs and what you want them to do. So depending on the font, I either have them kind of doing some random blinks or just doing a, a nice, simple fade back and forth. So, guys, I think with that, I'm gonna gonna call it for this one. I just wanted to show this off real quick. Uh, I have some hilts coming down the pipe. Uh, I've been really wanting to finish off my Luke V4 and my uh, the Rudy Pando V3. I'm probably gonna get the V3 done first. I'm waiting on a, a possible new PCB board for the the V4 control box that's uh, gonna go inside to help light up the arrows and do the switches. Uh, the V3 should be a little bit easier to do, so I'm hoping to get that done next. Uh, I just purchased KR's, Cal's, his, the Obi-Wan, the episode one, the OWK. I can't wait to get that done. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite uh, prequel hilts. I had a Corbanth one that I did a video on uh, about a couple of years ago. Um, this hilt I can't wait to install, and I'll probably do like a slight little comparison between the two. Uh, but so far, pretty happy with the quality of the hilt itself that I got in, even though it's empty. So guys, with that, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them uh, and kind of steer you in the right direction. Uh, with that, hope everyone has uh, an enjoyable day. All right, take care. Bye.